ever should have sailed. Twas the worst storm seen for years. As she sailed up Loch Ryan, the eyes betrayed the fears. As they hit the full force of the waves out on the open sea, on the 31st of January, 1953. The Princess Victoria was on her morning run, heading for the port of Larne, her plight had just begun. For when she turned her bows around a mile from Ryan's shore, she took a wave on her aft end that flooded her stern doors. For she never should have sailed, she never should have sailed, tell that to the company, she never should have sailed. James Ferguson, the captain, tried to keep control, but with the tons of water, the ship began to roll. Her scuppers couldn't free the load, this happened once before, when her owners turned a blind eye to this danger they ignored. She drifted to the southwest, her engines had long failed, David Broadfoot sent the mayday, God save her soul, he ill. Then the captain gave the order, launch the lifeboats best you can, as the ship surrendered to the storm once scarcely seen by man. For she never should have sailed, she never should have sailed, tell that to the company, she never should have sailed. All the crew and passengers who battled to survive Only 44 would live to tell the story of their lives James Ferguson, the captain, in tradition honour bound Gave his final farewell as a ferry boat went down Sometimes in this selfish world up springs a man of gold David Broadfoot, as it turned out, was clearly in this mold. For he had the chance to save himself, but his signals he must send. To give the ship's position, he stayed there till the end. For she never should have sailed, she never should have sailed. Tell that to the company, she never should have sailed. For she never should have sailed, she never should have sailed, tell that to the company, she never should have sailed.